y'all, it's the cute coffee gal, and I am back to play a little bit more of the Harry Potter Hogwarts mystery game. We just finished up our potions class in the last part, so that is where we are now, ready to exit the potions classroom. So if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up to show your love of Harry Potter. Hopefully you love it just as much as I do. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please go ahead and do that as well, because it really helps my channel if you subscribe to my videos. This past weekend, I actually hit 100 subscribers. Yay! So exciting! So so upward and onward. My goal is hopefully by the end of 2018. Is it too much to ask to hit a thousand by the end of the year? Do you think we could do it? It's taken me a really long time to get to a hundred. So I don't know if it's possible, but that would just kind of like put me over the moon. And since school's going to be wrapping up soon, I'll have time to do more videos. So everybody's subscriptions will help. So please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. But let's get back into this game. Um, let's see. So we finished class. I see a little glowy thing on the book in the corner here. Oh, and it's just showing us that we did learn that uh, cure for boils. So that's done. Okay, so then I guess the next thing we'll need to do is just kind of head on out of the room. So let's go ahead and do that. The Hogwarts crest. Oh, Ben, you're Rose Granger, right? Why, well, yes. Yes, who are you? Ben Copper, I'm a first year like you. I just wanted to say thank you for standing up to Marula Snide. Oh, who told you I did that? I was watching from the end of the corridor. I've been following her so she can't sneak up on me, and if she sees me, I'll at least have a chance to run away. She tormented me the entire way here on the Hogwarts Express. Oh, the poor kid. She kept threatening me and calling me a mudblood. Oh, yeah, that's not okay. I'm sorry, Ben. That's terrible. Marilla is obsessed with being the best witch in our year, and she thinks that she has to impose her will on us to prove it. Well, she doesn't want to just be the best witch in their year. She wants to be the best witch in Hogwarts, which is a little bit crazy. I'm just glad that someone was brave enough to stand up to her. I'm certainly not. It's a joke that I got put in Gryffindor. Oh, Everyone is afraid of something, Ben. Unfortunately, I'm afraid of everything. I come from a muggle family, so all of this is new and scary to me. Well, we can help him along the way. I know how you feel. I come from a wizard family, and this is hard for me, too. I'll try to help you however I can, Ben. Thanks, Rose. I'll see you around. Poor kiddo. All right, so now... I think this is a new hallway. Um, So that's the Hufflepuff common room. Obviously, we're not going there. Uh, the kitten's... Oh, look! Dobby's, like, asleep on the corner over here. That's so cute. Oh, uh, there's the potions classroom. Okay, so here's where our conversation was. And there's the common room. Can we, like, go down the hallway? Is that a thing? Guess not. We don't really need to go back into the potions classroom. What about these stairs? Oh! Oh! Uh, here's how you can navigate around Hogwarts. East towers, west towers, lower floor west, dungeons, castle ground. Uh, as you progress through your years at Hogwarts, you'll explore more locations. You'll unlock more locations to explore. Okay, that's good. Oh, yeah, Hogsmeade. That'd be fun. Um, oh. Look at the training grounds. Oh, and there's the Whomping Willow. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at Hagrid's hut and the Owlry. And there are people flying all over the place. <laughs> oh, there's just like a broom that was just stuck in the air by itself. That's kind of funny. Care of magical creatures. So I guess we'll get to do that class at some point. Who's this chick? Don't know. Can't click on her. Okay. All these things look like they're still locked. So we probably come back to... Well, training grounds isn't though. Can we explore the training grounds? What's in there? Ooh, it's the Quidditch field. This is cool. Oh, everybody's learning how to fly. I want to learn how to fly. Oh, I can't do anything else. Maybe we'll come back to that later. Let's look at the glowy exclamation point. What are we supposed to be doing? Oh, we're supposed to be going to our common room. Okay, let's go to the common room. Woo! Okay. Hop on in there. Uh, report to Felix. Who's Felix? Did I already forget something that we were supposed to do? Um, all right, so we're in our common room. Chillin. Oh, look, everybody's practicing their Lumos. And here's oh. Felix. Oh, 
Oh, this must be like our, our head boy or whatever. You already lost Slytherin 10 points. We're in fourth place now. What happened? Oh. All right, if I click here. Oh, oh our rank. Oh, and your points. Because we got us 10 points, but then we lost it. So I bet that this had 10 on it earlier. Um, here's where you can keep track of the race for the house cup. I wonder if this is, like, real. Like, does everybody's actions in-game actually affect this? Because that would be cool. At the end of each year, the house with the most house points gets the house cup. Here's Slytherin. You're in fourth place. Which is just so not cool. Slytherin's, like, on top of it competitive. So we should totally not be in fourth. Um... 100 gems. E earn house points to help your house win the house cup at the end of the year. Oh, and then we get gems. Let's see. Here's a leaderboard. Oh, that must just be where we are right now. Okay. So that's that. Oh, and our hanger has more things. Can we pick new things? Oh, we've unlocked some stuff, but it looks like it costs... Well, that's pretty, but it costs 400 coins. But we've got enough coins. I probably shouldn't spend them all yet, though. We should probably, like save them up because we don't know what we're going to need them for yet. And what did we unlock here? Um, because like this is our face. Oh, everything. That doesn't make any sense. I guess maybe it was just the one thing that we had. Oh, and my cell phone was turned on. Let me turn that off. Okay. So, uh, yes. Disregard the changes because I don't want to pay for the new hair. Oh, wait, it's still giving me done. Why is there still <laughs> an exclamation point? I don't understand. All right. Well, I guess we'll just have to come back to that later. And okay. So let's close out of here. I'm sorry, but who are you? So, okay. So I didn't know who he was. That makes me feel better. Um, and why are you talking to me about house points? I'm your prefect. That was the word I was looking for. Felix Rosier. Rosier? Rosier. I don't know. Oh, look at his little prefect pen. I have one of those. I got it at uh, Orlando um, at the Harry Potter World. It's a prefect's job to keep order in the house and help first years like you with their problems. Oh, well, that's very nice of you. Considering what your brother did to Slytherin's reputation, I should have kept a closer eye on you. Well, that's not very nice. It wasn't my fault. I'm sorry. I'm not my brother. Well, I feel like if I say I'm not my brother, I'm kind of throwing my brother under the bus. But I'm not my brother. <laughs> like, <laughs> legit, you should judge me by my own things. If I say it wasn't my fault, I feel like it's kind of like whiny. I'm gonna say I'm not my brother. Ooh, and we leveled up our empathy. Interesting. I know my brother broke school rules and damaged Slytherin's reputation, but I want to be a credit to our house. We all made mistakes, Rose. Of course, we don't all make mistakes that cost Slytherin 10 house points. In any case, Professor Snape already sent you a letter directly to our common room. That's kind of weird. Wouldn't he just like come? Why wouldn't he send it to me? Oh, why wouldn't he send it to me? Probably because he despises you. This just is weird. Okay, Snape hates everyone, so I wouldn't take it personally, but I would read that letter immediately. Is he playing a trick on us? Granger, I have discovered evidence that your potion may have indeed been tampered with. Okay, this is totally a trick. There's no way that, that, that he would do this. This is not Snape behavior. While it does not prove your innocence, it does cast some doubt on my belief that you are hopelessly incompetent. Bring me a jar of pickled slugs from the potion storeroom, and I will consider restoring your house points. Snape, isn't the potion storeroom locked? Like, first years are not allowed in there. There are directions to the potion storeroom at the bottom of the letter. Want me to go with you, Rose? It's the least I can do after you save me from Marula. <sighs> well, I think it's a trick. I I'm afraid if I say no, it'll hurt her feelings, but I don't want her to get in trouble, so I want to say no. Um, I'm just gonna say no. Thanks, Roland, but I should go alone. Yeah. Well, be careful. I would hate to have Snape kill my only friend. Yeah, I would hate that too. Whoa. He's offering to give us back the 10 house points you lost. Hurry to the potion storeroom before he changes his mind. Yeah, this is totally a trick. Okay. Um. Let's go. Um, am I enjoying it? Yes, I am, but I will have to rate it later. All right, let's go on in. I can't see a thing. Yeah, because it's locked. The shut door behind me and it seems to be locked. Exactly. I'll cast the wand lighting charm to help me see. Convenient, that Lumos. Lumos! Ooh. Is that Devil's Snare? Or whatever it's called. 
Uh, what is that thing? A death yes! See? I'm good at this, guys. A deadly plant called Devil's Snare. Some fourth year Slytherins showed it to me when I first arrived. Of course Marula is the one doing this. It's sensitive to light. If you're really better at the lawn whiting charm than me, escaping should be no problem. Grrr. She locked us in here, along with sending you a fake letter from Snape. I told you things would only get worse for you, Granger. Yep. Something has to stop you from ruining Hogwarts. It may as well be Devil's Snare. Ah! <laughs> oh, it's so creepy looking. Oh, no! No, like, light it up as much as you can. Uh, I have to get out of here. Marula wasn't lying. The Devil's Snare seems to be recoiling from the light. I'll try to hold it off with Lumos while I call for help. Yes. Let's do the- oh. Um... So we can't leave the room until we've completed the activity and we have to get five stars worth in order to pass. Okay. Let's make it happen. What do we do? Fend off. Yes! Let's fend it off! As much light as we can! Lumos! Did we get it? Oh, no. Not quite. We gotta do more. Yeah? No. It worked! Okay, excellent. Oh, it's back. Uh, oh no, there's so many of them. Yeah. This is gonna take us a bit. So, kick it. But kicking shouldn't help. It's Lumos that helps. Okay. We cast it again. Lumos! I've got to get out of here. Help someone, please! Oh, we're almost done. We've got our three stars out of our, um... Ooh, I missed whatever that was. Tug at the vines. One point of energy recharges every four minutes. Wait for your energy to recharge or buy 30 more now. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna have to wait. I will, um... I'm not gonna make you guys wait for four minutes with me, so I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I've waited um, about 20 minutes so that we could get five more energy. I'm not sure how many we're going to need, so I haven't been paying attention. I had no idea I'd gone down so quickly. So let's go ahead. We'll tug at the vines here. Did that use all of our energy? All right, Lumos here. Does it work? Maybe. Hopefully. I don't want to wait again. <laughs> We've got all five stars. Excellent. So let's go ahead and collect that. Oh, and it refilled our energy. Perfect. Okay. So we got two gems for that, and we got some more items. So we'll have to check those out. What's going on in here? Or what's going on in there? I hope this isn't Snape. Out of the way. Okay, that's not Snape. He doesn't talk that way. Oh, it's Hagrid. Hello, Hagrid. Gulp and gargoyle, Slytherin. Get away from that devil snare. You're scaring it. <laughs> oh, of course we are. <laughs> I'm scaring it? Let's get you out of here. I want Hagrid to be our friend. You saved my life. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Rubus Hagrid, at your service. I'm Keeper of the Keys and Grounds at Hogwarts. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Rose Granger. Look at my robes. They look awful. Ah, you're the one everybody's been talking about. May maybe trouble really does run in your family. I'm doing a horrible Hagrid voice. How'd you end up in there, Rose? A first year Slytherin named Marula Snide locked me inside. Oh. She did? What are you gonna do? Tell Dumbledore, tell my classmates, get revenge. Well, we're not gonna get revenge, and I think telling Dumbledore seems a bit extreme, so let's tell my classmates. Uh, I'll tell everyone in our year what she did so they know she can't be trusted. Aww. Do you have any proof? I have a fake letter from Snape, but I can't prove she's the one who wrote it. Ah, but who'll believe you if you don't have any proof? You might want to reconsider. I'll head back to your common room and take some time. I'd head back to your common room and take some time to think, Rose. I don't want you doing something you'll regret. You might also want to do something about those robes. That devil snare got you good. Thanks, Hagrid. Hopefully, I'll see you again. Yeah. I wanted to take the magical creatures class. You certainly will, Rose, but for now, you better get back to your common room. All right. Oh, did we actually get slugs? Did Snape give you the house points back? Come back to the common room and let me know. Uh, no, of course he didn't, because it was a fake. Thank you for being part of our launch to show your appreciation. Oh, please enjoy these gems. We hope you're enjoying your time at Hogwarts and can't wait to share the new game experiences with you in the coming months. Well, that's cool. 
Thanks, port key games. Nice, now we've got some gems. And I think we can refill energy with those, so that's good to know in the future. All right, let's head on in and report to our prefect. Let's see, where is he? There's Felix. Ugh. Bloody hell, what happened to your robes? I got snared by Devil Snare. Whoa. Devil Snare? How? What happened with Professor Snape? It was a trick. Marula Snide faked the note and trapped me in a room with Devil Snare. Mm. What is with you and this girl? Yeah, seriously. I would just like her to leave me alone. I think she's threatened by me, and I think she hates that I'm the only first year who stood up to her. And I take it you once again don't have any proof? I have the fake letter from Snape, but I can't prove she's the one who wrote it. Yeah. Well, you can't go around the castle like that. Professor Snape will have a fit. People already look at you like you're mad because of your brother. Go and change into fresh robes. Or better yet, pick something to wear outside class hours. Oh, cool. So, maybe that's the clothes that we just got. Why don't you go... Why don't you put on a new outfit? Okay. I bet that's the what we just got. Yeah, because we got a shirt, too. Pick out some new clothes and tap done when you're ready. All right. So... Oh, we have new of everything. All right. We've got... Oh, that's a super cute hair. And that one's cute, too. I like that one a lot. Okay. Wow. Not doing hair today. Let's look at shirts. All right. So this is the only one we've got that doesn't cost anything. Um, I've got a couple that cost just some coins, so that might be the way to go. Follow us this weird boxy neck. Oh my gosh, that jacket is ridiculous. <laughs> um, all right, so the rest of this we can't afford. That's fine. Um... We could do this one because it's Slytherin colors, I guess. Are they all? Is that what it is? Is this Slytherin? And no, they're just stripes. But this one is Slytherin colors, so maybe we'll do that. And then let's see what pants are available. Just some plain old brown pants. That would be okay. Look at those. Those are so awesome. We can't afford them, but they're so awesome. Okay. Um, and then... Oh, we could just like straight up put robes on. So this is just our regular Slytherin. Oh my goodness. Look how fancy. These are really cool. Oh wow, this looks like a medieval knight or something. That is so awesome. What is this one? Oh, I just wanted to see it. Okay. Um, all right. So I think I do want to have outside of class clothes. Let's see what is this? Sleeves? I don't understand what this is that we're looking at. Alright, there's nothing there. Like, what is this supposed to be? They all look exactly the same. I don't get what that is. Okay. This is a necklace or something? Oh, come on back. I want to go go back to... Oh, here we go. Alright, so that is... A tie? Oh, okay. Okay. So maybe that's just normal, and then this is a scarf, and that's a necklace. Oh, those are cool. And then what do we have here? Glasses. All right, so this is nothing. Those are cute. All right, so in the future we can get some glasses. Okay. So... No, cancel. I don't want to do that. All right, let's... Revert. Okay. So... I do want to... I'm going to spend the money for this shirt. And those pants were free. So I think that this is a halfway decent, like, outside of class time. And I don't like those, like, slippers. Which you can only just barely see. See those at the bottom there? Um, I don't particularly like them. But I don't know that we have much of a choice. Because, yeah, this is glasses and necklaces. And... Oh! Now that the sleeves are off, I can actually see this stuff. Okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. They kind of remind me of Slytherin, you know? What's that? Oh, a watch. These are really cool. Okay, we can't unlock those yet. Okay. So, definitely want to not buy that. How do I take it off? Revert? Is it going to revert the whole thing? Of course it is. Uh, okay. Go back one more time. We're buying a shirt. We're getting free pants. We're wearing slippers because we have no other choice. Done. Uh, you haven't paid for some of the items you're wearing. Do you want to buy them for 300 coins? Buy. 
All right, let's see how you look. Woohoo! Wow, that's much better. Now you don't look like someone used you to practice the uh, severing charm. <laughs> Thanks, I'm, but I'm mainly just happy to be alive. Well, you'd better hurry to your first flying class. Yay, before you're expelled. See if you can find a way to earn back house points while you're there. Well, we are going to put our robe back on, right? Like, we're not going to flying class like this, are we? I guess we are. That's not very cool. Okay, attend flying class, and we need to learn to summon a broom. We can make this happen. Oh, here, is it Ben? I think his name was. Look at Madam Hooch. She cracks me up. Welcome to your first flying class. I will be your instructor, Madam Hooch. You'll begin by observing before learning to summon your broom in your next flying class. Oh, okay, so we have to have two flying classes. Well, what are you waiting for? Everyone step up to the left side of your broom. I've been dreading this class all summer. Oh, poor thing. You're afraid of heights? Falling from heights, mostly. I told you I come from a muggle family. The idea of flying through the sky on a broom is terrifying. I'm with you, Ben. Heights freak me out. I would be terrified as well. Believe it or not, I've never flown on a broom either. My mom was pretty strict about us using magic outside of school. I don't think I can do this, Rose. All right, so we should just tell him to watch us or to encourage him saying you can do it. Well, don't watch me. I've never done it before, so let's not say that one. You can do it, Ben. You can do this, Ben. Just concentrate on the broom and try not to think about falling. Do you promise to catch me if I fall? I promise to try my best. There you go. That was the right answer. It's not very reassuring, but I suppose I have to try sooner or later. Mm. Even if you don't have anything to fear from today's lesson, or even you don't have anything to fear from today's lesson, Mr. Copper, you'll only be observing today. All right. Oh, gosh. And of course, more rule is over here. What a headache. Um, all right. Click on this. Okay, we have to have one star to pass. Get at least one star in this class to unlock the summon broom lesson. Okay. So let's watch her do it. See how it goes. Listen up, everyone. I'm going to demonstrate proper broomstick techniques. All right, so we're going to discuss hair. Aw, long hair only increases the chances of falling to your death. Well, I guess that's good to know. Um, ask a question. I can assure you that none of these brooms have been jinxed. That is good to know. All right, let's check out our own broom. Concentrate. I'd better pay attention if I want to survive the year without a broken bone. That is a true story. Uh, discuss brooms. Familiarize yourself. Clean sweep, comet, nimbus, and firebolt. And of course, we have to like tap on Marula over here. Discuss robes. Keep your feet free of your robes or you will surely fall to your death. Roll eyes, of course. Am I the best Hog student at Hogwarts or the best student ever to attend Hogwarts? You're such a jerk. Discuss wind. Always pay attention to the wind and I missed the rest of that. All right, choose your reward. We could get more hearts, we could get some coins or we could get some knowledge. Um, hmm. Well, I'm okay with skipping the coins. I kind of would rather have the knowledge, but you get more of the hearts. So I'm going to pick that one. All right. Let's see what happens here. You'll likely take a painful tumble if you lose focus, even for a second. Pay attention to me. Tap when the circles are the same size. Oh, this is like what we did in potions. All right. Brilliant. Yay. She's all proud. Oh, and now we got more of the green ones. What was that? Courage, I think? All right. Oh, we're lecturing now. She looks so stern. Listen up, boys and girls. I'm going to explain several important bits of information to you. All right, let's check out our book. We'll consider. Uh, my hand will be covered in calluses by the time this is over. And Rowan has something to say. Great job, Rose. You too, Penny. I sort of hope you fall, Marula. <laughs> <laughs> uh, greed. Uh, let's roll our eyes at Marula again. Am I the best student at Hogwarts or the best student to ever attend Hogwarts? Oh, you're such a jerk. Um, and I'm going to reflect now. Splinters greatly increase the chances of falling to your death. Can you imagine dying because you had a splinter? And let's observe. Flying is not unlike walking, and that went too fast. All right. Um, ooh, look! 40 of the knowledge. We're definitely taking that. Excellent. Now let's see if you've been paying attention. Who can answer this question? 
which of these is not a type of broom? Uh, well, we know that Nimbus and Firebolt are, so Akami is going to be it, which I believe that's actually like a creature. But I can't remember which one. Something with wings, maybe? All right, we got it right. Go us. And we got more courage points. I want to get to courage level two. How do we do that? Unlock the summon broom lesson. Earn one star from flying class to unlock this lesson. Collect. Oh, and we got two, didn't we? Summon broom and... Is that what we're doing now? Do we get to do it now? I suppose I don't have to worry about falling if I never actually fly. Thank you for helping me, Rose. I may be able to fly soon if I keep following your lead. I think you've chosen a fine tutor, Mr. Copper. Miss Granger, you appear to have a knack for helping your classmates overcome their fears. Oh, <sighs> ten points to Slytherin. Yes! You just need to get used to the idea of flying, then. I'm sure Rowan has some books about flying that we can borrow. Hmm. I do like reading books. Hardly anyone ever falls to their death while reading books. You know who else likes reading books? Rowan. I bet we're going to have a Rowan and Ben romance. Um, I've been meaning to talk to Rowan anyway. We've had a rough go of it so far, and I think she takes it harder than me. You should ask her to play Gobstones. I'd play myself, but I'm afraid of getting sprayed. Can't remember what Gobstones is. All right. Um, so we've attended flying class. Great. You want to play Gobstones? I love that game. Meet me in the clock tower courtyard. Okay, so we still haven't actually like learned to fly yet, though. All right, we're going to the courtyard to meet Rowan. And I can't remember what this game is. There she is. Look at us, their little funny shoes. Thanks for inviting me, Rowan. After everything with Marula and Snape, I could use a break. Hogwarts shouldn't be about bullies and barely escaping death. It should be about learning magic and having fun. I agreed. Wait until you play Gobstones. I play it on the farm all the time. Mostly because I'm not strong enough to help with the actual farming. It'll be fun to play with another person for once. Thanks for helping me to adjust to things here, by the way. Of course, it's nice having a friend who understands me and can help explain everything about oh. Hogwarts. Wish I could explain why Marula is such a bully. I've been researching her family to try to understand why she acts the way she does. Let's just relax, and you can tell me what you found out about Marula while we play. Sounds like a productive use of time. So, Gobstones is the finest skill-testing manual dexterity game in the world. Is it like Jax or something? I can't remember. It's a- oh, Marbles! There we go. It's a bit like the muggle game Marbles, except that every time a point is scored, the loser gets sprayed in the face. Sprayed with what? Great question. No one knows, but it smells awful. So it's a combination of marbles and that game where you get like the pie uh, whipped cream in your face. <laughs> you do well in this interaction. You'll strengthen your friendship with this person and be able to go on more adventures together. Okay, that's great. High attribute levels will improve your chance of success. Recommended attributes, one of each. Well, we've got a whole bunch of each. So, oh, oh, which level that we need to be at level one on each of these. But we're on level one of courage and level two of empathy and knowledge. So we're good to go. Oh, and it costs coins to play. Hogwarts is more frightening than I thought it would be. Don't worry, Rowan. Everything will be okay. Hmm. All right. Good luck, Rose. The only time I ever lose at Gobstones is when I get distracted. So we should distract her. <laughs> Every interaction has a different goal, and this one, impress Rowan by winning at Gobstones. All right. Uh, the best way to beat Rowan is by distracting her. I'd better concentrate. What are your favorite books? Did you hear something? Uh, she loves to read, so let's uh, ask her about her favorite books. All right. Yes. Uh, you got bonus points for your high knowledge level. I'm just fine with that. Good play, Rose. I could have countered if I wasn't so distracted. Oh, what cute animation. Thanks, Rowan. I think I'm starting to understand gobstones. Did we do anything good that time? The more distracting a choice is, the more you'll fill up your diamonds meter. How do you like gobstones? Shh, I'm trying to focus. I think it's distracting. Let's talk about wandwood. Uh, wandwood, definitely. All right. Yes, we got it right again. 
five turns left. We're not going to need them. We're almost done. You're doing well, Rose. I'll never win if I keep getting distracted. Looks like my strategy is working. Ha ha ha. Very Slytherin of us. Let's join the Gobstones Club. Uh, let's discuss study habits. Let's bunk off school. No, she won't like that. Let's get distracted instead. Um, I'm just going to keep going with what's working. So let's discuss study habits. Oh, that was not the right thing. Oh, no. They tricked me. Oh, if we'd said let's bunk off school, I bet it would have been like, oh my goodness, what are you talking about? And that would have distracted her. I can't believe you might win. Snape is a vampire. The library burned down. What's that supposed to mean? Um, let's go with what's that supposed to mean. Ah, oh, no! We only get three more turns. All right. Um, oh, this is the one that we already did. All right, let's go with it. Let's bunk off school. Okay, that one was right. Kind of a bummer that we got the same one again, but that's okay. You beat me, Rose. Pretty impressive for your first time playing Gobstones. All right, so what are we collecting? Oh, diamonds to take our friendship to the next level. And we got some gems, so that's pretty cool. We'll collect those. Good game, Rose. Whoa, look at her. She's like, there's two of her. Do you see that? Oh, that is so weird. I'm sure that's just a glitch in the game, but it looks so strange. <laughs> Good game, Rose. So, oh my gosh, she's still doing it. Some people think Gobstones isn't cool, but I've always considered it to be the thinking, which is Quidditch. Thanks for playing. I've never been especially good at making friends. This is so weird. We became friends pretty quickly. Yeah, but most people think I'm either a useless weakling or an awkward nerd. You're weird, like me. This is true. No offense. I take it as a compliment. <laughs> oh, why is she back? And why are there two Marulas? Isn't this precious? Hello, Ranger. Whoa! No, seriously, look at Marula. She's like split in half. Okay. Hello, or not Marula, uh, Rowan. Hello, Granger. You are unfortunately looking well after wrestling with the Devil's Snare. While you were off playing with plants, I've been doing a little research about your brother. Why don't you just leave me alone? Because you're a danger to Hogwarts, just like him, and none of us will be safe until you're gone. What are you talking about, Marula? Granger's brother didn't just get expelled for endangering the entire school in search of some imaginary vaults. He immediately went missing, and the next time he was seen, he was working for Voldemort. Ooh, and this is right after all that went down, so saying the name, not okay. You can't say that. You have to call him he who must not be named. I say what I want. You're lying about my brother having anything to do with he who must not be named. No wonder the professors were talking about you before the feast. They're wondering if you work for the Dark Lord, too. Expose her secrets, ignore her, or reason with her. Well, you can't reason with her. Um, I feel like I should probably pick ignore her, even though I would like to expose her secrets, but I'm going to ignore her. Just leave me alone. Oh, there we got some courage. Marilla, I don't want anything to do with you. Why don't you just drop out of Hogwarts? Save Slytherin and your little friend here the embarrassment of being associated with you. Gosh, she's mean. You're just afraid that I'll be better than you. Afraid? I'll duel you right now. Oh, we can't walk away because we haven't unlocked the courage yet. Come on, Rowan, who has two people. Why don't you help us? All right, we're going to cast a spell. Lumos, like that's going to do anything. That's the only spell we know, though. Let me wave this light in your face. It'll make you go away. And of course, she's laughing at us because that was a dumb spell to cast. Ugh. Pathetic. Flippendo. Ooh, she knows some fancy ones. What does this one do? Aww. That was not very nice. Learn a few more spells, Granger. Maybe next time you'll pull, put up a fight. I don't want to fight. <laughs> All right. Come on, doubly person. Let's go somewhere. Marilla is never going to leave us alone. Not unless I learn more spells and find someone who can teach me how to duel. Yeah, learning how to duel would be a good idea. Oh, what is this? 
Um, oh, this is our relationships. Okay. So, of course, we've got Rowan, who we just leveled up to a two. And then... Oh, look at all these people that we've met. Okay. And then there's Ben, which we obviously need to, to keep working on that. Who are these people? Penny Haywood? I don't know who that is. Bill Weasley? That's so cool! Yes! And then... Oh! And Tonks! We're gonna get to meet Tonks! And Tulip Karasu. And it's <laughs> Barnaby Lee. It's not yet clear how to get closer to this person. I'm guessing we have a crush on that person in the future. Okay. Let's... Oh, and this was their years. So wait, which year is Tonks in? <gasps> Are we in the... When we came in at the beginning, the pink-haired person was Tonks. That's so cool. Okay, sorry. I'm getting all excited. All right, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. All right. Um, what are we doing now? Finish your lessons to begin the next chapter. Oh, good. We get to go summon our broom now. Let's make it happen. All right. And let's start. Broom care and maintenance. Of course. So, welcome back to flying class. After observing your, for your first lesson, I will now teach you how to summon your broom. Before you can summon your broom, however, you need to learn how to maintain it. To your broom care stations. It's like a bike repair station. That's so funny to me. Oh, look, it's this fun little table. All right, we're gonna work hard. Work, 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 work. You're starting to sweat, Granger. Uh, let's see, we'll smile. I love that we're both in Slytherin. Me too. Watch. Watch me, Granger. This is how a professional cares for a broom. You weirdo. Insult. I don't want to insult, though. Hey, Marula, do you think there's a spell that would make you less annoying? All right, let's take care. I can't believe how serious you look. Ask a question. Oh, we're out of energy. Um. Oh, my gosh. And it's 55 to buy more this time. It wasn't like 30 last time. No. I can't remember how much it was last time. All right, well, how many more are we gonna need? I think we're gonna need a lot. We need, I, th I think we need an energy for each of these. I haven't been paying that close of attention. I probably should have. So we need at least three more, but we're not even at the first star yet. I think I'm gonna use my gems. Let's, let's, I hope I don't regret that. All right, so let's ask questions. I always apply polish with the grain. That's a good suggestion. Trim ends. Yeah, this is that's how this works. That looks better because I'm watching our count. But then it refilled it when we got to the star. Choose our reward. Um, I don't know. Should we do empathy or should we do knowledge? I'm going to do empathy because Rowan's around for knowledge. At some point, we're going to level something up. A nice coat of polish will make a big improvement. Yes, let us apply polish. Ooh, we got a new spell. Brilliant. Oh, it wasn't really a spell because we're doing it by hand. That's okay. Loving care for our broom. Ooh, and we got courage to level us up. Excellent. I think we're going to really need that when it's time to fly. All right, we're preparing to summon our broom. It's time to practice summoning your broom. Step up, hold out your right hand, and say, up. 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 <laughs> Every time I think I've got it, I haven't. Listen to Rowan. Does she have it? Ah, this broom wood smells just like home. Oh, that's cute. Wonder. Who would have thought that picking up a broom could be so difficult? Who's over here? I can't even see who it is. It's that chick. When do we get to fly up in the air? Roll our eyes at Marula again. Am I the best student at Hogwarts or the best student to ever attend Hogwarts? She's so annoying. All right, wonder. Where can I buy a nice whistle like the one Madam Hooch has? And we'll smirk, that's a new one. I'm perfect, therefore there's obviously something wrong with this broom. You're annoying. My hand will be covered in calluses by the time this is over. Yes, bonus stars. Let's go with courage because we haven't gotten very many of them. And like I said, I think we're going to need it. Now, Miss Granger, let's see you summon your broom up. 
trace the path from your broom to your hand. Oh, right here. Yoink! Up! Yay! We got it! Yes! And we got more courage points. Most excellent. And we got energy. Excellent. Let's look at the house cup. How we doing? Whole bunch of points. See, there was a ton of points just then. This has to be kind of real time in some way. So we're now in third place. Okay. It's better than fourth. Collect. Oh, and we leveled up our courage to a three? Wow, that was quick. Okay. And chapter three is now complete. So our rewards were some coins, some experience, and it looks like we have um, a plus next to Ben there. So I am guessing that that means Ben is, uh, our, our relationship with him is increasing. So let's collect these items. And it's time to begin chapter four, which means it's time for me to end this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed it. Enjoyed our playing around a little bit with uh, Harry Potter Hogwarts mystery. Please give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think of the game. Have you been playing? What choices would you have made differently? I'm just curious to know what people are up to in the game. So anyways, uh, make sure you've subscribed to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much, y'all. Bye.